Hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Hall. Come in. Hi, I thought I'd join you. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining me. Um, what are you doing today? Well today we've got just a short video. We need to remove the valve stem guards from the cylinder head. And you remember that tool that we made to push them out with? Yeah. So we're going to show people the tool. We'll talk a little bit about the tool and how we made it. And then we'll come over to the press and we'll push them out. And that's pretty much all we're going to do today. Okay. Do you want to get going? Yeah. Cool, let's do it. Okay, so last week you'll remember when we were stripping the cylinder head, uh, I showed you the valve guards that needed to be pushed out. Now, the biggest problem we've got, so, so this is one of the new ones supplied by Angler Agriparts, and it's, I mean, so you can see the, the kind of dimension and, and what it is, and basically it's just, it's literally just a press fit inside the cylinder head. But the problem that we have is that you've got a, it's about a 30 mil a deep combustion chamber to, to get in there in order to access the bottom of this, and then you can see that's, uh, that's quite a, well, it's not extremely long, but quite a long way to have to drive something through. So, what we made, and the other thing is it has to be pushed out straight. So, what we made, now, excuse the turning, this is the first thing I've ever metalled or turned in metal, so it's not a perfect job, but dimensionally, it's fine. It's just not very smooth here on the, the handle, on the drift part. But, basically, what I've done is You've got this tiny nib on the end, which literally fits inside that valve guard. Okay, it's a very it's a loose fit, but it's as as close as it can be without it bounding. And then what we've got, hopefully you can see, the diameter of this push rod is smaller than the diameter of the valve guard itself. And then, of course, what I've made sure of is that it's about the length of the valve stem guard is the valve, yeah the valve stem guard as well. So what that means is we should be able to put this in the press and push it all the way through the head and have enough travel in this distance here to be able to push it all the way out. Most of the time you don't have to go all the way, but if we needed to we can. And that's what we're going to use to push these valve stem guards out of the cylinder head. So let's go over to the press and do that now. Um, yeah, so we've got just about everything we need to need. Okay. Now, I'm going to need you to put this in, okay, because I'm going to be holding, so I need, I need to take the weight of the cylinder. So, you need to put it in, and obviously make sure that it goes into the, that little, that piece there has to go inside the thing, yeah? Right, there you go. So which one do you want to do first? That's it. Okay. I can just, I don't even have to look. I can feel it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, move that one left uh, to your right. And the other one the same way, so it's a bit of a much better shape. More. Okay. Now we're doing Heath Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> Dad! I got it, you. Oh. Stop. Now what I want to do is make sure that that's as straight as possible. Okay. 
Okay, Char? Now go slowly, okay? Slowly. Okay, keep going. Oh. I'm just having a look. Stop. Okay, stop, just stop. Now one thing one thing I've learned when you once you get that first crack, what you want to do is actually just release the pressure slightly. And just reset everything. Okay, right, come down. What do you mean by reset? Just reset everything, it just helps everything to line again, Re realign. Once you've taken the pressure off. Uh, I can see one popping down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, Dad, what I've realised is that the angular one is longer. Just by looking. No, at that it. one's broken. Look at that. Oh. Where's the other bit? That's a good question. It's still okay. in there, So that's very interesting. I'm not sure why or when that would have broken. Very interesting. I'll get this in under the light later in, in a few minutes, but basically, from what I can tell, that's been broken for a while. Those faces are not newly broken, if you see what I mean. So that's been sitting in there. And probably fun, as in, you know, it would have operated, it would have done its job, which is basically to guard the valve stem. But interesting that that's been broken seemingly for quite a while. Right, let's get some others out and see how we get on. Okay, go back, yeah. Better condition than the other one as well. Now, have we taken out that one? Yeah, we have. So, what's in? Can you feel? Okay. That isn't straight. Okay. Okay. 
be ready for the eternal crack. Whoa! Whoa! Then. What has? Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. You didn't make it strong enough. Huh. How did you see it, Ben? I saw it. I could see it from here. Well, can I add this to my weird and wonderful things collection? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> what? Like, it literally... It went from that into that. <laughs> wow. That is incredible. Right, well, seems we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, this is what we ended up with. You can see the deformation that happened on the point there as well. Um, I probably should have checked this before we carried on, after we did the first and, and even the second one. Uh, but when it came to doing that third one, it literally just bent, buckled um, up here. Now, the problem we've got is it can't be, this can't be, this shank can't be any thicker to make it stronger because it has to be able to go through the hole that the valve guard is sitting in. I mean, it could maybe be about maybe one millimeter more you know, thicker in diameter. We've probably got a little bit more clearance than we need at the moment. Um, the other problem we've got is if we, I mean, I don't currently have any way of doing this, but if, even if we did, if we had a way of, of strengthening, so hardening this metal, the problem I foresee with that is that that would make this very brittle and, and subject to shattering, which... I certainly don't want to be putting something like that in the press. So, ideas in the comments. Uh, what do people think? Um, I suppose on the one hand, what are we doing wrong? If we're doing something wrong, let us know. Um, I suspect the issue here is that these valve stem guards have been in there for a very, very long time. Pretty much like everything else that we've come across on this tractor. Uh, most things have seemingly been there for a long time. They've been very tough to get out. Uh, but of course, once you get them out, then, you know, everything seems to be in reasonable condition. But nevertheless, uh, uh, the, the issue here, I believe, only is that these things have been sitting there for a very long time um, and they just are very well seated. I don't think there's any other anything else going on here. Anyway, um, Give me some ideas, let me know what you think. Um, heating is not really going to be an option, I don't think. That, I mean, they're, they're obviously sitting right in the middle of the head itself. So you'd land up having to heat the whole head to get any, any sort of, um, any heat of significance onto that part. Perhaps I could try heating just the, the valve seat itself, that might work. Um, yeah. I um, welcome your comments, uh, ideas, uh, and anything else that you guys, um, yeah, well, I mean, obviously, any ideas would be greatly appreciated. So, look, that's it for this week. Um, look forward to your comments. Look forward to hearing from you. And, uh, and of course, hopefully by next week, we'll have solved the problem, come up with another idea, and uh, we'll be able to proceed. But uh, for this week, from Oscar and I, thank you very much, and see you next week. Bye for now. Bye.